Welcome to Honors Chemistry. I'm really excited to have all of you in my class this year. It's going to be fun, challenging, and I know that all of you will live up to the expectations that you have set for yourself. So the materials that you need for class are pretty simple. You need a notebook. You can have dividers or not, but you need to be able to keep track of your notes, your homework, your handouts, classwork, and your lab work as well. So make sure that you have a notebook that can handle all of this. I don't care if you share it with another class, that is fine, but keep yourself somewhat organized. And then you need a scientific graphing calculator as well. So things are going to be a little different in my class than they might be with other classes that you've had because we're going to have a flipped classroom. So what is a flipped classroom, you might ask yourself. Well, traditional classroom has typically the teacher and the students, and there's mostly lecture. There certainly might be group work, but the beginning part of the class is usually lecture. That's where we impart the new information to you. Then for homework, you put that practice of lecture uh, to the test. Now, sometimes homework, especially in math and science, can be frustrating because what sounded simple in the classroom is a little frustrating at home. So a flipped class has you doing the lecture and gaining the basic knowledge at home on your device. And then the classroom activities are where you practice with me and your peers to gain mastery of that topic. So your traditional classroom is typically where I prepare materials to deliver in class. So all of my lecture materials will not take place in the classroom. We certainly will review in the class. You're not going to listen to my lectures in the classroom. You're going to listen to the lectures at home and take your notes there. And then homework is assigned to demonstrate understanding. This will be your homework in the flipped class. So I have recorded uh, on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel and it's linked to our Schoology website where I have all of the lectures that you will need for the year. So you're going to watch and listen to these lectures before you come to class and then class time is devoted to our higher level thinking and the fun lab that we all want to do in chemistry. Chemistry is the first time where lab is really lab. So in short, a flipped classroom switches the traditional order to create a greater depth of understanding. And when you have questions, they won't be uh, homework where you're alone by yourself, you're going to have that supportive environment where I'm present and your peers are present. This allows you to get a more individualized chemistry education, allows you to go to higher and deeper levels of thinking. It also requires that you take charge of your own learning and become a resourceful, self-motivated learner. This is one of the more difficult things when students tell me they don't like the flipped classroom, it's because they're used to sitting in lecture where they can ignore the teacher. But when you're learning on your own at home, you're sort of required to figure out. Now, you're not expected to master the learning on that one introduction to it, but you certainly are expected to get a good beginning knowledge of that topic. So you're going to have to be self-motivated and you're going to have to take charge of your own learning. This gives us, again, more time for discussion, questioning, and that all favorite lab work during class time. So what is it that you will specifically be doing for homework? You're going to be watching video lectures, most of them created by me, where I'm going to teach you the lesson, give you examples the same way I would, if you were in the class. 
However, because you're watching the video, you can pause, rewind, or even fast forward through me if you feel comfortable with the material. This allows you to learn at your own pace, become more self-directed. You need, if you find that you need to go back over a concept that you don't fully grasp, you certainly can do that. Each video lesson is designed to be about 20 minutes long, sometimes shorter, sometimes a little longer, depending on the topic. So, they're going to be accessed from YouTube, which is linked to our Schoology site, and any, any internet-capable device will work, including your phone, and of course the new Chromebooks that you're getting. You need to let me know if you are not able to watch these videos at home. If your internet access does not allow you to watch these videos, you need to let me know. When you're watching the videos, you need to be taking notes. Now, notes are an independent and individual um, method. I don't have any particular method of note-taking that I prefer. We don't use an interactive notebook. Um, notes, I think, really are best left to the individual student to figure out how they need to take them. But at the end of each video, there will be questions. Okay? that you need to answer to test your understanding. And this is not to impress me, this is for you to figure out if you understood what you watched. Um, when you submit your answers, you will get immediate feedback, especially if they're multiple choice. If they're short answer, you may have a little delay, um, several hours in getting results for that. Whatever grade you get on these for your multiple choice is not going to count against you. It's a homework grade. It will, however, go down as a homework grade. So if you do not do it, then you will get a zero for your homework grade. These questions are for you to assess your understanding. You're in an honors class. You're expected that you want to learn and care about the process of learning. So if you've watched the video, it seemed to make sense to you, you took some notes, then you go and answer the few questions that you're asked that are on a fairly basic level and fairly specific to the video that you watched, and you do poorly on it, then you're going to need to figure out how to do better. So we'll talk in detail if you do poorly on the questions after watching the video, you will have another set of questions that you need to watch, or you'll watch the video again and answer another set of questions. There'll be fewer questions the second time around, but you'll never be graded uh, doing poorly on this activity. You're still going to have nights where homework looks like homework, where you have worksheets and practice problems. Chemistry does have math in it, so you have to be able to write out your work and show your work. Um, but if you get stuck on those, you have the online lessons that you can rewatch to help you with the assigned homework. So what do you do in class? Well, instead of listening to me lecture, you're coming prepared each day with the background knowledge that lets us go faster and deeper. Okay? Again, you're not expected to have mastered the material, although many students do. Some students are very good at mastering uh, material on their own. You are expected to actively participate in all of the activities. So typically, you come to class you have watched the video, you've taken the introductory questions and figured out what you got right and what you got wrong. You're ready to ask me questions. You're ready to participate in laboratory activities, discussions, and um, moving along. So we will begin class by reviewing in a variety of ways, usually questions and clickers. We use clickers a lot. Sometimes you'll get in groups. Okay. So we want you to refresh your memory of what you watched and then go deeper. So the most fun of chemistry is the chemistry lab. And you will be in lab almost every day. Literally, I can't think of very many days you won't. Now, Mondays we won't be in lab because of the 45 minute. But the other two days we will be in lab for the second half of the class. 
This is where you put that knowledge that you've learned and that we've practiced and you put it uh, to a depth of thinking on your own by experiencing those reactions in the lab. So honors chemistry is exciting. I wouldn't be teaching it if it was not. Most students do love it, although it is a challenging course, they enjoy it. You do have to actively pursue. You can't sit there like a lump on the log. Okay? Um, it can be challenging at times. Okay? So even though there's a lot of lab, there are times when there's problem solving. There is a considerable amount of math in the honors level, but it's all doable math. Okay? One nice thing about chemistry is that it builds on itself. Okay? So most new topics depend on the previous topics. So unfortunately, if you do get behind, then chemistry is going to be rough going for you. So you want to start out this first nine weeks and this first week on top of your game. On the positive side, the more you understand the present material, the easier the next topics will be. They build on them. It's unlike biology where you sort of jump from one area to the other. It's very much a building process. And it jumps between math topics and conceptual topics. But the worst thing you can do is to blow off a topic and figure out that you're just going to move along and do better with the next one. That's not going to happen because again, if you do that, you're going to be lost and there are some areas that you can get lost early in the year. And I don't want that for you. I want you to do well. I'm more than willing, more than willing to do my part to make you an accomplished chemistry student. I don't guarantee you an A, a B, or a C, but if you work hard for me and if you are an honor student and you have been properly placed, so your math score, your previous scores, the challenge that you set for yourself, your willingness to work, if you do all of that, you should have an A or a B or a high C in the class. I have very few students that have D's and F's. Some of them do. The main cause is they don't apply themselves or they were improperly placed. So during this first week or two, if you find that the pace is too much for you and you truly are working your hardest, we need to talk to each other. We need to get you properly placed. But working together, I know that we can have a terrific year. So if you have any questions, email me, come and talk to me anytime. So now that I've shared my expectations of you, I'd like you to share your expectations of me and yourself. So on Schoology, when you go to the site and you click on the chapter one, which is talking about the flipped classroom and lab safety, you're going to see an assignment labeled class expectations. There are a few questions that I want you to answer, and these can be very brief. Or if you love to write, you can give me as much as you would like or as little as you would like. It's not an English essay. I don't need even complete sentences. I just need you to answer the questions as honestly as you can and submit your answers to me. You can submit this assignment anytime before the end of the second week of school. But by Friday, the end of Friday, on that second week, you will no longer be able to submit this homework. It's a graded homework assignment. It's not worth thousands of points, but you don't want to start off on the wrong foot. So again, welcome to chemistry. I'm excited to give you this opportunity to learn a little bit more about how the world works.